Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today we have the April Ipsy PR unboxing. So if you would like to see what I got in my glam bag and my glam bag plus, then you know what to do. Just keep on watching. much for coming back. My name is Belinda. I am a mature makeup artist here on YouTube and on my channel I like to do tutorials, teaching techniques, unboxings, reviews, show you new brands you've never heard of, um, and some skincare. Anything to do with makeup and beauty pretty much I'm your girl. Um, so if that sounds like something that you are interested in, please hit that subscribe button and take that bell to all so you don't miss an upload. Now let's get into this Ipsy unboxing. But before I get in to the opening of the box and things, let me tell you a little bit about Ipsy. If you do not know about Ipsy, Ipsy is a monthly makeup subscription that you can choose from three boxes. We have the Glam Bag, which is this small bag, and it is $13 a month, and you get four, maybe sometimes five, trial size items in that bag. Then we have the Glam Bag Plus which I think I have one right here somewhere. And it this is not this month's. And it is this size, and it always comes with little drawstrings. And the price of that one is $28. And you get uh, six, five to six full-size items in that one. And then we have the Glam Bag X, which personally is my absolute favorite. The Glam Bag X is $55 a month, and you get seven to eight full-size items in that box. And it is curated every three months. So you don't get your Glam Bag X every month, you get it every three months. And it's curated by a celebrity. So, um, if you want to try Ipsy, there is always a link in my description on these videos where you can sign up. And there is always a link in my link tree that has all of the places uh, that I am with. And you can sign up there. I do not make any money off of the off of you joining. I just get points to shop the Ipsy store. So if that sounds like something you are interested in, go grab your Ipsy box today. My favorites are the Glam Bag and the Glam Bag X, but I really love my Glam Bag X. So this is the April unboxing of Ipsy. Oh my gosh, how cute. So now guys, Ipsy, when they do send out the uh, boxes, they don't really put what goes in each bag. So we just kind of have to unbox it. They do put some things in the glam bag. Uh, so uh, this is the cutest little so thing. So let's get into this unboxing. Let me find my little paper. Keep growing. April 2022. Spring is here and just like you, the earth has come alive. 
Take this month to plant big ideals, nourish your skin, and live a little greener because it's your season to bloom. Um, inside it just shows you pl things to do like reuse, recycle, repurpose in honor of Earth Day. Um, ready to get crafty, tag Ipsy, um, and things like that. So let's go ahead and unbox this cute, adorable little bag right here. Oh, I love this. I'm so happy that spring is here. <laughs> Um, it does have a little flower on the zipper that is so cute. I really like this. So, inside we have a House Laboratories Lee Riot Gloss. I have never got to try anything but the eyeliner from House Laboratories. And I do like that color. We'll keep her. There's a swatch. I like the way this is made. If it's formed to fit your lip. I like that a lot. Okay. So there's one. I have so much stuff sitting on my table. I, I, I'm lost. Oh, Glow Recipe. Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. I have always wanted to try Glow Recipe. And you know, uh, great things about the Glam Bag is uh, you can try trial size things before you buy and see if you like them. So, I'm excited to try this. And then, the next thing I see is the Lottie AM to PM. It is a retractable velvet, velvet retractable eyeliner. I have a lot of eyeliner, so I'm going to put this over into the 1K giveaway. And then the next thing is the Wonder Beauty Unlashed volume and curl mascara and I do already own this mascara so where I own it I've already been able to try it. I'm going to put this into the 1k giveaway it does do good things to your lashes and the last thing is the hydrating primer shades by Sean so um, I will keep this to try because I do have quite a few quite a few things from Ipsy from this brand. Love this bag. And then the next thing, this is ooh, this feels different. This is the Glam Bag X. This feels really different. This doesn't feel. Um, like a normal glam bag uh, plus this feels like it might be waterproof you can even hear it so that's really cute maybe you could take that to the beach with some stuff in it okay. so the first thing I see is the Aceology Hydro Glow and Deep Hydration Watermelon Eye Mask. Cleanse and tone skin. Remove backing and apply to the under eye area. Relax for 20 minutes while the two beauties work. 
So we will try that on a skincare Sunday. The next thing I see, oh how cute, are the Farrah brushes. Pull one out. Oh how cute. They have the uh, daisy on them. Those are really cute. Now, I have tried the Farrah brushes, and I do like them. So, I'll be keeping these. All the Farrah brushes I've tried have been great. Um, the Butta Tea Tree and Aloe Mask Scrub. Now, I do have something by the Butta and it is a vitamin C serum. Um, it's okay. I don't use it all the time. I have other vitamin C things. Um, Aloe and Mask Scrub. Triple Action Clay Mask. Foam Cleanser. And Deep Exfoliator. I might try this. Um, I don't like clay masks. I use kept that one by Huda out of the Huda box and I wasn't really um, impressed by it. Let's see if this is clay. No, it is not. It does smell like tea tree oil, so that's what it looks like, but I will keep that. And the next thing is the Dr. Brandt Clean Biotic pH Balanced Yogurt Cleanser with chlorophyll, dissolves stubborn impurities, helps replenish skin, moisturize, maintain skin's pH balance. Got quite a bit of skincare, it seems like, in this one. I will try this because I do like the Dr. Brandt. Um, it's really good. And then the last thing is the Misha Beauty. Mishka. Mishka. Don't know if this is an eyeshadow palette or. Oh, this is a blush palette with a highlighter in it. And I'm not going to swatch it just in case I don't keep it. I have a lot of blushes. Um, I've never heard of this brand, but um, it's always nice to have blush and a highlighter. And that is it for my box. I thought that we might be doing an eyeshadow tutorial today. What the hell is that? Um, but we're not. So this is everything that I got in my box from Ipsy. Okay, so let's recap. Um, we got the Farrah brushes, which I do like. Um, I got a little uh, trial glow recipe. I can't wait to try that. Um, the Hydrating Primer by Shades by Sean. I'll try that. The House Laboratories um, Gloss. I'm glad to try that. The Dr. Brandt um, Exfoliating um, Cleanser. And the Butta Tea Tree and Aloe Mask Scrub. 
the eye patches and the blush palette. So guys, let me know what you think in the comments of this box. Um, I was a little disappointed to see that there was no eyeshadow palette. Um, and there was quite a bit of skincare, but it is okay. I do do skincare here on this channel, so we will do we will use those in a video on a skincare Sunday. Um, but I would like to have had an eyeshadow palette in the box. I I, I always prefer makeup um, over skincare. But um, we got a little bit more skincare, and um, so let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What was one of your favorite things that I got out of my Ipsy? And um, my favorite, let's see here. I have to say my favorite things that i got out of this box would be the brushes the gloss and i get to try glow recipe so i'm really excited about that um and i like dr brent i do like dr brent but i don't need so much skincare i'm constantly getting skincare so I don't need a whole I've got a whole lot I got to get through but um, those are my favorite things and um, if you are interested in trying Ipsy uh, let me know down in the comments or have you tried Ipsy if you have not tried Ipsy and want to there will be a link down in my description and you can sign up and cancel anytime that you like and guys, that is the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed to this channel and you like makeup and beauty related content from a mature southern lady from the south, well then honey, please subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss a beat. And with that, I'm going to do an eyeshadow tutorial, so I will see you in the next one. Stay blessed.